Let's see if I remember how to do this. Hey everybody and welcome back to Drew's Fizz in another video. In today's video, well actually this is going to be a three part video because I have all these pre-orders that have been sitting here. I have 10 boxes from Good Smile. I'm going to be breaking this video up into three parts. If I didn't, this would be like, you know, a 30, 40 minute long video. And some of you would appreciate that, but at the same time, I think a majority of you would just like the shorter videos. But with that being said, today we're going to be opening up three of my pre-order boxes in no particular order. And just for informational purposes, these kind of trickled in over the last couple months. And these were pre-orders from, you know, probably the beginning of the year or a little bit into 2020. But either way, we're going to be opening these up and I'm going to be showing you guys what I got. And I'm pretty excited because I haven't sat down and made a video for a little while. And that's mainly due to my normal work stuff. So with that being said, everything's going back to normal and I should be putting out videos like I used to. So I hope you guys look forward to it. And I got some things coming up for 2021 that I will reveal at a later date. So... I'm excited for it. I hope you guys are. But yeah, let's go ahead and start getting into these pre-orders. And what a year this was, 2020. And it's finally coming to an end. And, you know, I'm quite happy to kind of be ending it on this note with all these pre-orders I'm opening up. And I know Christmas just went by, but, you know, this is like Christmas part two for me. And not all these boxes are the same size. I believe I have, you know, Figmas and Androids as well as pop-up parades like all in these pre-orders. So like I said, I'm gonna be opening three boxes and let's go ahead and get into the first one here. No time to delay. I definitely wanna see what all these pre-orders are. I mean, I've gotten you know emails on the pre-orders, but as time goes by, you kinda just, I don't wanna say forget what you got, but since there's so many, like I don't know what's in what box at this point. So yeah, these are all kinda you know, a little surprise for me. I do know a majority of what they are. I just don't know which boxes or what. So our first one here looks like they added some some more paper to the actual figure shipping in. Yeah, pretty good. So our first one here is an Android. I can already tell from the box. And wow, that's like a really pink color there oh okay i know what this is this is awesome so let's go ahead and open this up real quick so you guys can see it as well wow there's just a ton of bubble wrap on this i took off like one layer of bubble wrap and now there's a second layer of bubble wrap so wow we just gotta we just gotta keep going here with this bubble wrap i mean it's good to see that you know i don't know if all oh, i almost dropped it that would have been a disaster but i don't know if all these are this bubble wrapped or what but I don't know, feels like Good Smile kind of stepped up the game there on their pre-orders. And speaking of pre-orders, I actually got a bunch of emails recently with pre-order delays. And that's one of the good things about, you know, Good Smile is they send you emails on the status of your orders. And, you know, mainly when they get delayed. And I had a bunch of them get delayed recently. And kind of sucks, but that's kind of how this year's been going. So either way you look at it. I'll get the figures eventually, but yeah, some of them got delayed. And this Nandroid is pretty dope. I actually really wanted this one when it came out and I pre-ordered it. And this is Mamako from Do You Love Your Mom and her two hit multi attack. And I really actually quite liked this anime. A lot of people w weren't really feeling it, but I thought it was good. I had a good time watching it and I enjoyed it quite a bit. So definitely an awesome character. She's kind of you know, like this overpowered character in there. Really cool though. And it looks like it comes with some really good accessories. So yeah, that is awesome. Definitely love the fact that you got the, <laughs> the veggies in there too. That's really cool. So yeah, you get the, the veggies up in there and you can put them in a little basket. That's awesome. So wow, this video is actually starting off pretty good with the Mamako Nendroid. So let's go ahead and head into this next box here. And this box is actually slightly larger than the previous one. So maybe it's a pop-up parade. I'm not too sure. I got like one, two, looks like two, maybe three more larger boxes, like similar in shape to this. So maybe two, I don't know. I have no idea can't really see them that well from here but definitely two more of this kind of same size box and i swear one of these days i really got to sharpen this knife it's getting dull and that's gonna happen 
just gotta find the knife sharpener. So here we go. Yeah, look. So we got the paper again and bubble wrap. Looks like a lot of bubble wrap again too. But this is a pop-up parade figure. And I can only tell that because generally the boxes kind of all have the same like I don't want to call it I don't want to call it like plaid kind of stuff like you see just like that little bit there that right there kind of just tells me it's a pop-up parade and once again more bubble wrap on top of bubble wrap and who's ever bubble wrapping these things over there a good smile you guys are going crazy with the bubble wrap and I like it I like it okay so which pop-up parade figure is this I like guess it's not really a it's like a geometric shape kind of pattern I don't know see look you see that kind of pattern there you always see that on pop-up parade stuff I guess that's kind of geometric not really plaid I don't even know what I was thinking earlier but yeah geometric let me know in the comments below what you would call that so this is a figure Ooh, sweet so this is Natsu from Fairy Tale there and I believe this is like you know a cast off light where you could remove his vest there possibly so not much on the back of the box or the sides like other pop-up parade figures but we're gonna open this up and check them out I tell you what if you don't have any pop-up parade figures in your collection you're missing out I think they are fantastic figures for the price you know the quality and detail that you get for something of this price is fantastic and by price I mean it you know right around forty dollars at retail I mean I don't think you can really go wrong especially if you like the characters they're putting out because I certainly do and I got quite a few pop-up parades in my collection now and yeah they all look really good and it does seem like they're putting out more and more characters in pop-up parade form which I do not mind at all and yeah this one it's no exception it looks fantastic I think they did a really good job on him so here we go this is Natsu the pop-up parade there he looks great i mean even got his little fairy tale tattoo on his shoulder as well as his drag needle scarf and yeah i mean i just think it's a really nice looking figure and like i said i believe his vest here is actually removable so we'll go ahead and try to do that real quick and there we go if you're about that shirtless natsu life you know go for it you could take off that scarf and vest there and you know just have them like that so that is an awesome option to have especially you know seeing this on pop-up parade figures now i think that is really really cool but for me personally i'm going to be leaving the vest on and the scarf because i think that is a pretty good look for natsu okay time for our last and final box here for this part of this video or something like that this part of this three part video so the last box here of part one and of all these good smile pre-orders so I wonder what it is. There we go. We got all the paper packaging there. And oh, this one doesn't even have any bubble wrap. So, okay. A little inconsistent there. Got extra bubble wrap on the first two and no bubble wrap on this one. And this is a Figma. Nice. Okay. So this is actually, <gasps> ooh, this is one I've been waiting for or, you know, been really excited that I saw, you know, when the original Glams came out, this figure is just cardboard boxes going everywhere. But yes, this is, this is great. So this here is, yep. So we got Raftelia here from Rising of the Shield Hero, and that looks fantastic. So really, really nice. You get some great little accessories there, and you know, you get the posability of a Figma. Can't really go wrong and i think that is awesome and you get all these nice little face plates i don't think she had a pre-order bonus i will double check the box but yeah no no pre-order bonus yeah i don't think there was one initially so or at all but yeah it would have been cool if they had a little pre-order bonus for this you know a lot of times i do order like figmas and androids from good smile is because of the pre-order bonuses because sometimes you get some pretty cool items as far as the pre-order bonuses go from good smile i'm not sure correct me if i'm wrong but i think that's the only way to actually get the good smile pre-order bonus you know at retail you know not secondhand market or anything like that like when the figure comes out you know i think that's 
the only way to actually get the pre-order bonuses is through Good Smile. So yeah, this is fantastic. Let's take another look at it real quick. Fantastic. Raftalia, she's the best in that show. And I mean, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but definitely the best character in that show. Actually, I really enjoy all the characters from Rising of the Shield Hero because they're very contrasty to a lot of what you see in, you know, a typical isekai type anime. You know, your main protagonist is, you know, not necessarily the normal kind of protagonist you see, right? He's more or less the antagonist in that particular world and he's not like this really upbeat kind of guy. So yeah, it's actually a fantastic show. I really enjoy it and can't wait for the next season to come out. Hey right, guys, just a quick recap of this part one of this video. Well, we got the two figures here, the Figma of Raftalia, as well as the Nendroid of Mamako. And we got our latest pop-up parade figure of Natsu. So here we go, awesome one. And I wonder if the rest of the fairy tale pop-up parades came in because I do have those couple extra boxes that were the similar size of this one. So we'll see here in a couple of days as to what's all in those boxes. Like I said, I got seven more boxes to go through. So the next video, I'll be opening up three more. In the last video, I'll be opening up the last four. Hey guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this part one of this video. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more content, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys on the next video. No, I'm not saving face, I'm living in the bed. I'm about to break, only so much I take away. Truth I'll change.